After achieving our aim of a second cocktail on Castos after five years, it was time to set sail, but not before a last sunset stroll. We're going to wander back and I'm going to try and persuade Kate to buy me another beer. But just one. I had enough last night. This is Intrepid Bear, a 40-foot sailboat off to explore the world with her crew, Ian and Kate. Come aboard and let's see what's out there. Okay, so that is farewell to Castos. Had a lovely couple of days on Castos. Um, really nice to go back. Had the second cocktail that we didn't have five years ago and had a bloody lovely time, didn't you? So that was our last place on Memory Lane effectively. So everywhere from here on is new. And we're heading down to a place called Patalus, Patalus Lagoon, which is behind an island's well sheltered. Um, so that's about 15 miles and uh, we're doing four knots, so four fours of 16, so about four hours. We're generally making our way towards the Corinth Canal. We have a series of day hops, aren't we? Yes. That's the plan. So, um, yeah, that'll be exciting. Yeah, we've got to get down to Naxos to meet um, Kate's daughter, Abby. So we're going to head down and we'll go through up, up through the Gulf of Patras, which leads into the Gulf of Corinth, and then through the Corinth Canal. A bit expensive, it's going to be nearly 200 euros just to go through, but it's going to be quite an experience because it's an amazing feat of engineering. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. But both sails are up. We've got ooh, six or seven knots of wind on the nose. We're doing 4.3 knots. Very close hauled, um, but just sailing really nice on a flat sea. So you probably saw I had my life jacket on on the deck there. Well, I've got it on now. I'll take it off in a minute. Uh, I feel like sometimes I feel like the only person in the Mediterranean wearing a life jacket. Uh, we've developed our um, rule, which is sometimes difficult to stick to because it's so hot. But if we are working on deck, so i.e. not sunbathing, if we're working on deck uh, and we can't swim to shore, then we wear our life jacket. So if we're more than, you know, one kilometer from shore or less than that really 500 meters then we ought to have our life jacket on um, if we're coming into harbor then in a warm place we risk assess it risk assess it risk assess it and the water's warm uh, it's still a little bit dodgy not wearing one so i'm not necessarily recommending it but it basically no one else wears one so sometimes you feel a bit silly wearing it but that isn't going to stop us our rule basically is working on deck can't swim to shore then life jacket on
Tim. This is all right, isn't it? 3.3 knots of wind, 3.7 knots of speed. That's more than the wind, allegedly. Yeah. That's weird. I'm not quite sure about the wind meter, but nonetheless, bimbling along nicely. What do we got? Five degrees of heel maximum. Just tickling along to where we're going. Mm. Lunch on the way. So we just come around the bottom of this island. Um, don't even know it's got a name. Probably has. And it's just a small island, uninhabited. It looks. Once we're clear of that, we can turn quite well round to port. We'll be on a broad reach by then, or at least a beam reach. So as long as the wind stays as it is, we should be there in an hour or two, and it will be an absolutely cracking sail. But uh, yeah, really nice. Telltales enough. It's falling a great deal. There's not a lot of wind, no, but it's starting to lift a bit now. It's so nice just to mooch along for a few miles and yeah, yeah, just be in no hurry to get anywhere. Yeah, back to the city. Job advert, first mate position going. Needs to have a bit more energy. <laughs> <laughs> Having a hard day, dear? Yes. It's a hard place to stay in mind. Sailing into the unknown. We've never been here before. It's unknown to us. Yeah. Between here and Turkey, it's unknown to me. Never been. No. Unknown to me. So we've been to the Ionian several times before, but we are now getting to the bottom of the Ionian and into waters that we've never sailed before. So yeah, blazing a new trail. Blazing at. 3.9 knots, that's alright. Blazing at 3.1 knots, yeah, that's <laughs> slow, slow burn blazing. <laughs> yes. Sometimes if I'm not in a hurry, I will pull in the reefing lines as I drop the sail. This makes for a much tidier drop. So down to less than one and a half knots. We're just going to motor this last two miles, only two miles. And um, we need a little bit of hot water anyway. So we might as well just motor around the corner and into the anchorage. We could drift on, we were making reasonable speed, but we want a little bit of downtime before we meet up with some friends this evening. So we're just going to motor around the corner, drop the anchor, and life will be gravy. So we're just rounding the bottom of the island, Patalas Island, and uh, coming around into the lagoon. Looks like quite a shallow area, so we'll have to be a little bit careful as we go in. Um, but yeah, it looks quite nice, and apart from anything else, particularly sheltered. Yes, I see them on AIS.
So just clip the bridle on and the bridle is um, like two pieces of rope that attach the anchor chain to, sorry, excuse me, takes the load off of the windlass. Um, so there's no danger if it does get really windy of the chain pulling through the windlass because the weight then goes onto the cleats at the front of the boat. So this is where we ended up last night. It's called Patalas Lagoon. I don't know if that's the correct pronunciation. It's the island behind me is Patalas Island. It's a cracking safe anchorage, totally protected uh, almost all the way round by shallow water in this big island. The water's only four or five meters deep with thick mud on the bottom, which means for a really good holding. Um, there's not much ashore. You couldn't really land on that island very easy. It's just a rocky, craggy place and it's not crystal clear water. So it swings and roundabouts, it's not ideal snorkeling or anything or swimming or anything like that. No tavernas, no no life, it's just delightfully uh, what's the word? Delightfully remote um, and really protected and really good holding. So from an anchoring point of view, really good. If you want entertainment, no, this is just a pe uh, peaceful place. 